welcome to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video. This one regarding Season 4, the possible n next season for Camp Cretaceous, which hasn't been confirmed yet. However, for today's video, we're going to be talking about an interview that Colin Trevorrow recently did regarding Camp Cretaceous, as well as Jurassic World Dominion, and also how he has stated that Camp Cretaceous is in fact connected to Jurassic World Dominion, and we're going to discuss how that may be. So first, let's talk about the interview. So Colin Trevorrow stated very clearly that Camp Cret there are moments throughout Camp Cretaceous that will in fact tie into Jurassic World Dominion, making sure that they are on the same timeline and having the same exact course, which so far in Camp Cretaceous hasn't been really shown to be very accurate because um, most of it has taken place during the events of Ju between Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom with the third season ending on during the events of um, Fallen Kingdom's opening. Spoiler alert. And, um, but I think this is teasing how they could be implementing season four because Spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about the ending for Season 3 in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now you've been warned. Um, so at the end of Camp Cretaceous Season 3, the kids successfully made it off of the island with uh, Mitch and Tiff's boat. However, it does leave us wondering if they do make it to the mainland, because we don't see them make it there, which I feel like is done for the exact reason to set up another season. Because many people, myself included, are theorizing that they are actually on a course for Isla Sorna, the second island of dinosaurs, Site B as it's commonly known. However, you may be wondering how this could be possible. Well, two reasons. One, the interview. So Colin Trevorrow has stated that Camp Cretaceous will be connected to Dominion. How can they do that? Well, there's one way that they can without, um having the kids be stuck on islands until um, Jurassic World Dominion. And it's simple. They go to Isla Sorna. Because, if you don't know, a while ago, um, Colin Trevorrow and some other workers of Jurassic World Dominion actually posted a few images of some packages that had the name Isla Sorna Site B written on them, which has led many people to believe that Isla Sorna will be in Jurassic World Dominion, and there's been a lot of pictures with um, Chris Pratt and one of the new characters, I can't remember the actress's name, but they're wandering through a forest that looks very similar to um, Isla Sorna's, especially during the Lost World. And um, there's been a few other images as well, and how they could connect it is that they could sort of tease Isla Sorna's, like, future, like, what really happened to it. Because the truth is, we don't know. The public's led to believe that all the dinosaurs there are dead, but could Camp Cretaceous show us the truth that in fact there are some dinosaurs still living, like the Spinosaurus, which many people are thinking that it will be returning as well, which it makes sense because it would be amazing to see the Spinosaurus return. And especially because um, it has had a toy from Mattel re released a while ago. However, um, Swerve talked about this and stated how, like, um, the Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx, they, their toys were released for Season 1, but they only showed up in Season 2, and for cameos in Season 3. The Spinosaurus showed up for the wave of Season 3, but hasn't shown up in Season 3. Spoiler alert. So, could it be possible that they are setting up for the return of the Spinosaurus? I personally think it would make a lot of sense, because it could not only be a nice teaser for people for if it's going to return in Jurassic World Dominion, which I personally hope it does, but it can actually show them I'm um, having to deal with a new threat, one that's been, in, as of this point, more dangerous than the T-Rex in some cases. Not all cases, but most. But what do you guys think? Do you think um, that the show, that season four will be taking place on Isla Sorna, and if so, how do you feel about that? Personally, for me, I think it's the right choice because if they do want to have the show return, return and they want to do it um, properly, I don't think they should return to Isla Nublar straight away. I think it would just be a little 
um, annoying for some fans because they'd be like, they just got off there, why would they return there? Unless besides the mysterious creature in the boat, but other than that, what do you guys think? Leave, leave a like guys and comment down below your thoughts. And if you've enjoyed this video, well, leave the like, I'd appreciate it. And join the hunt by hitting the subscribe button. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.